it's Beverly. So I came on here today to show you a couple patterns and the yarn that I bought. So I I was talking about this in one of my videos, and it's Kieran Jumbo Ombre. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Now, they have all kinds of different colors of this, but I'm wondering if they're discontinuing it. Okay. Um, it's a 12-ounce skein. I didn't get it from the Yarnspirations website. I got it from Joann's, but it was weird. It took a long time to get here. Uh, and, but it's so pretty. What's the color? The color is... Oh no. Car uh <laughs> C A R R A R A marble. And so it's different beiges, off white, and maybe almost a rose color. And maybe that color is gray that you're seeing there a little bit. So, and it's got some tan or buff up on the top. So, but I really thought it was so pretty. I got two. So there's 12 ounces here. So that's more than enough to um, make a blanket because I'm noticing that I'm doing about 20, 21 ounces on my blankets. Okay. Premier... Allure. <laughs> this, I got two of these donuts, cakes, from Christy at Crochet Creations by Christy. And this is supposed to be my November challenge. Well, this yarn is discontinued. It's on eBay and Etsy, you know how it is, and they raise the price real high. So this is 70% acrylic, 21% polyester, and 9% alpaca. It's a number five, but I think they call it a number five because of the halo, as Christy would say. And I don't know if you can see it, but it, there's the angora. No, the alpaca. And it's falling. It's all over everything. I've been wearing a pair of black pants so that I could see the fibers and, you know, dust them off. If you look at this, you can see it's not very thick. It's like two strands of something. Ooh, see how it's separated right there? Up here, it's separated a little bit. And then it's got the fuzz from the alpaca. Well, I decided I was going to knit with this. And this is what I came up with. Isn't it gorgeous, you guys? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love this pattern. I'm going to talk about this pattern. And a kind of maybe a sister to this pattern. Don't you just love it? It's gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to talk about what I did. And I sure can't un... I sure can't frog this okay so I found these two patterns from Molly girl Molly girl yarn okay and she has a blog this is and I I think I found this on Ravelry uh, I think I typed in the yarn and patterns popped up because um, no catchy name. Hi, Ella. No catchy name said that you could go on there. And if you have a yarn, you know, type it in and sort it, you know, and um, come up with a pattern. So I saw this pattern. Now, the first one I saw was for this cowl down here. And that's what I thought I would make. It said that you could cast on 60 stitches or 120. 
So I cast on 60 stitches. And this is the ribbing for the bottom of the cowl. So it would have to have somebody with a real small neck. <laughs> Obviously not mine. So I should have cast on 20, 120 stitches. I mean, maybe, you know, if we stretched it out, it, it might be okay. But still, it's pretty small, you know. Okay, so what I decided to do is, so if I was making this again, I would cast on 120 stitches, follow her pattern. This is the River Deep Mountain High, a bulky cowl. So depending on what yarn you use, it calls for a number five, it calls for a U.S. A size 11, 16 inch circular needle or DP ends. It calls for 90 yards if you're gonna make the small or 180 yards. Or she says until you think you're gonna run out of yarn and then you would do your ribbing. And see the ribbing came out really nice. I don't know if you guys can see it good. This color is called Antique Gold. So, if you want to make this pattern, it's going to be linked below. If you want to make this cowl, I would suggest, depending on your yarn, that you do maybe the 120 stitches. Now, she has the mountain deep, river deep, mountain high, a simple lace cowl. And if you look at the picture, it's real long, okay? And she says to cast on 100 stitches. Yes, 100 stitches, 140, or 210. So then maybe you could do 100 stitches on this one. But what I decided to do, since I already started, and I cannot rip this out, I am going to make this, this is going to be the edge that I sew to the other edge. And of course the chevrons are going to be going the, the wrong way. But it's fine. I can't rip it. It's gorgeous. It's pretty, you guys. I'm so happy. It looks better from a distance than it does close up. I don't know if I can show you guys. But anyway, so that's the deal. I have two of these donuts that I got from Christy. Now, the one here the what is it called simple lacy cowl she says to suggest somewhere so this one is in bulky this is using worsted weight yarn which would be a number four and with a size nine okay she also has a hat pattern, so I'm using a size 9 knitting needles. I didn't bring the package, but these are the Knitter's Pride Zing, and I really love them. Knitter's Pride Zing, and this is a US 9 knitting needle, and so I'm real happy with this. So I started a little bit early because I was anxious because I was supposed to start at November 1st, but I was a little bit anxious. But isn't it pretty, you guys? Oh, I just love it. I don't love the alp alpaca. Oh, I do have it, but I don't want to crinkle. I do have the Knitter's Pride package for my needles here. It has a 10 row repeat. So you do five rounds of ribbing, two by two ribbing, and then 10 rounds to get your chevron pattern. And I think this is gonna be beautiful. 
I'm going to have to put it on my Etsy shop because no one in Florida is going to want this. So I'm just going to keep knitting on this off and on and hopefully I'll get it done by sometime in November. But I want to show you guys this. I want to link the pattern below. Uh, I think it's a great pattern. Molly, I guess, is her name. Uh, the stitches that he uses, you cast on. You knit, purl, and you do a yarn over, and you do a SSK, slip, slip, knit, and she tells you how to do that. There's a thing. And it says knit two together, and then slip one stitch purlwise and then pass the slip stitch over it is a free pattern molly girl or her name is angela <laughs> and this pattern has been out since 2018 and i really like it um you know, there she is showing you in a striped yarn. There's the chevron, and then of course you can see it really good in my pattern. So that's what I'm working on. I still am working on two superbly simply, superbly simple baby blankets. Those are were orders or consignments or whatever you guys want to call them. So I'm almost done with those, and I have to put a, a a blue stripe on one and a pink stripe on the other um I think that's pretty much it um but isn't that cool you guys so I'm gonna keep working on this in between my other projects but Christy this is what I'm making with the allure that you gave me okay you guys Thanks for checking in with me. Um, I'm going to just keep plugging along. Love you guys.